Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Friday, December 4th, 2020. Well, yesterday those bulls just saw nothing, nothing but bullishness as we continued to push up and set new record highs. The NASDAQ setting its 47th record high of this year. Pretty remarkable that this market can, um, can pretty much ignore anything. Um, we don't care much about unemployment. We don't care much about debt. We don't care much about COVID numbers rising and governments um, around the United States, um, cities locking down, shutting down. None of that seems to matter anymore. And even news yesterday that um, the Pentagon blacklisted a couple uh, prominent companies doesn't, doesn't shake the market at all anymore. It's just all bull all the time. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. You know, it's really quite remarkable when a market gets in this kind of an attitude. It's like there's nothing, nothing that will stand in its way to drive the market higher. We don't seem to care that there were over 200,000 new infections yesterday, nearly 3,000 deaths, that hospitals are screaming because they're in um, having so many problems with capacity issues, adding... Um, adding temporary things. We even got news yesterday that only really quickly, I mean, just a real quick quick whipsaw reversal yesterday. Let's look at a 15 minute chart. You can see when we got news of um, potential vaccine delays, we got this real big whipsaw that occurred during the day. We were nicely positive and then quickly went negative um, in just one fell swoop and then bounce right back as if it didn't happen. So kind of an interesting situation here. It's just all bulls all the time. Now, what I want to what I want to mention and, and mention again is to just to be careful. I, every trade that I hold currently right now are long positions, but I'm being really careful not to over trade this market. And we saw that sensitivity yesterday to those news reports. And we we have a news report this morning, the big jobless, uh, uh, or excuse me, um, employment situation number this morning which can certainly move us around quite a little bit. So be careful about chasing too many overextended stocks or over trading in this market. We are very, very extended. Our, um, our P&E ratio just continues to fly higher and higher and higher. And I assume that's just because we continue to print and, and expect another $900 billion in deficit spending by the federal government. We continue to inflate. Um, and that continues to push the market up, and, and that's understandable. But just keep in mind that it's just one news story away from a big potential drop, and there's not much price support under this market. So kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at the Dow here, and let's take a look at the technicals in the chart and see what we can see from that. If you take a look, we are running in this upside trend, uh, very, very strong overall bulls, wildly in control. Um, just nothing, uh, nothing concerns them at the moment. And yesterday we were pushing up here trying to pop through that little resistance high. Um, I mentioned this yesterday, we've kind of got this little wedge pattern going on here. We're trying to push on through. And you can see this morning we are trying to gap up uh, ahead of that employment situation number, trying to push on through. Um, none of the news overnight seemed to... Um, hurt the market at all in any way, shape, or form. Every bad news just kind of, anything bad news just kind of gets ignored as we rush in. So watch that closely. We're pushing up into those highs. And I'm going to keep pointing this out because I still think this is important. As we continue to extend away from this 50-day moving average, just please keep in mind, whoops, that's a two-day chart. Let me fix that. Um, as we continue to extend away from this 50-day moving average, just realize that we could have, if we get some ugly ugly news or if the market does suddenly begin to care 
about um, COVID-related impacts and things like that. Um, we have a big hole here that we could drop into. So just make sure you're not over trading in case that were to occur because it could be a really bad day. And, and we've seen that before right here. Rally, 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 push, extend, push, extend, and bang. Um, everything comes off the rails all at once. So keep that in mind. Don't forget those things are possible. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also extending up, reaching out for those new record highs, continuing to push, push, push. There doesn't seem to be anything. Uh, there seems to be no price too high for the bulls to buy at the moment. And we're looking at a gap up open here and possibly a new record coming into play again here on the S&P 500. Um, once again, just that note, to be careful, we are a long ways away from our 50-day moving average. We are extending um, um, into the stratosphere here. And I just want to remind you of this period right back here, not that long ago, when all of a sudden everything was bullish, everything was great. We gapped up and ran, and then all of a sudden we did care about um, issues concerning the market. So just keep that in mind. Don't overtrade. And let's look at the Qs. QQQ, I made mention that the QQQ, it's 47th new record high yesterday as we continue to push and push and push. Um, there was news out yesterday that, um, that could affect this just a little bit. And that is that Facebook um, looks like they're gonna end up catching a lawsuit here soon. Um, New York is, is leading a, um, a lawsuit um, against Facebook and um, according to the report as many as 40 other states are going to jump on that lawsuit. So keep that in mind. Um, that's the second one this year with um, uh, Congress filing antitrust um, investigations against um, Google, and now we have this antitrust uh, being initiated by the states um, against Facebook. So watch that closely. That could have some effect. But right now, again, anything that's bearish in the market, we don't care. Um, we just it, we get a, a momentary hiccup in the price action, and then it's drive right back in. So just just watch that closely. Here in the Nasdaq, we are extended even in the short term. If we take a look at this. Uh, move right here. Even in the short term, we have really extended away from the trend, uh, pushing through to those new record highs. But just watch, just in case we have that hiccup that occurs in the market. We can see how painful those can be really quickly when all of a sudden the market does decide to care about some of these news items. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, very, very strong here. Now, IWM continues to get tremendous support um, from oil sector stocks and financials. And as long as those continue to push higher, I think the Russell has quite a potential to continue to move up. Now we are also very extended here. As you can see, our 50 day moving average is a long ways away. So we have to be, um, we have to be cognizant of that fact and, and just make sure that you're not chasing stocks that are already overextended. But watch that closely. Um, as we continue to hold these price levels and break out to new resistance level or break out to new um, highs in the market. At some point in time, there will be a profit taking wave, even if it's not a major pullback, um, there could be some problems here. And we're gonna have to find either a significant rest to allow these moving averages to catch up or that pullback that could be a little bit painful if you've chased in right here at the end of a big sweeping rally. Let's take a look at um, the VIX. Interestingly enough, the VIX continues as we continue to stretch up to these new highs. Notice that we've had three days of a little bit of rally in the VIX. So that's a bit of a concern as we um, continue to stretch this out. That VIX showing just a little bit of fear. Maybe it's just that fear that I'm kind of repeating that we may get a little being, uh, we may be overheating just a little bit here in the short term. But notice we still have that down trend in place. We're still underneath that 500 day moving average that we finally broke. But just keep in mind that possibility 
that if that fear continues to run in here, we could eventually see that selling wave and, and perhaps maybe next week we get a little bit of uh, selling um, in the market. Assuming that that jobless number does or the employment situation doesn't cause that today. Um, we'll talk about that in just a second. Let's take a look at T2122 and here's where my big concern is. Um, I have never had this indicator in all the history of my trading had this indicator fail me in telling me when we have reached an overextension in the market. Now we can linger up here but notice that we continue to push um, in here in these overextensions and it's getting um, we've been up here for quite a while so we want to watch that closely um, at any time that sell-off can occur and that big whipsaw that we saw yesterday really clearly indicated to me, the sensitivity that this market has to a news report and how quickly that sentiment could really change. So just just think about that. Um, today may be on the gap up this morning, maybe a really great time to take some profits, reduce some risk heading into the weekend. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. In that economic calendar, what I've mentioned a couple of times is that employment situation number. That's going to be the big number of the day and really probably the biggest number of the week. And right now, the consensus is suggesting um, in that number that we have a slight pullback in that jobs creation. As you can see right now, we're looking at about half a million jobs being created in that consensus. Um, we were at 638,000 last time. Now, if that were to come in at any kind of a surprise, either a surprise build or a surprise under report in that where we just didn't get as much growth as we were expecting because of COVID. Um, that could have a major effect on the sentiment of the market this morning prior to the open. So watch that closely. We could experience about anything this morning before the market opens. So watch that number closely. We've got international trade in goods and you know, I don't know that anybody pays attention to this anymore. We're, we're just running tremendous deficits. We continue to run tremendous deficits in trade. Doesn't seem to matter. It's just kind of like debt. Nobody seems to care anymore about that. So I doubt that that'll move us around. Keep in mind that we have several Fed speakers today. I doubt we learn anything more from them. And we're going to get factory orders um, later on today, but I doubt we get much price reaction to that. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. We do have a little bit going on this morning on earnings, but just not enough to really uh, be majorly concerned about. As a matter of fact, going through the list, a lot of uh, the small, tiny, tiny, small caps, but we do have a couple stocks that we might want to pay attention to. Um, Big Lots will be reporting today. I don't know if this is, I doubt that this would be a particular particularly market moving um, earnings report, but we'll want to watch that um, as we always do on earnings reports. Um, just keep in mind that we're dealing with some price resistance in this chart as we try to push on higher. And right now we're indicating just a slight pullback here um, this morning on big lots. So keep an eye on that. And the only other one that I could really come up with that had any particular note was um, GCO, GCO. Um, this apparel store. Um, keep an eye on that. We're trying to push through. Notice where uh, retail has been incredibly strong here recently, breaking through resistance levels, pushing up. Nice little hold of support um, showing in here. And you can see this morning we're looking at a little bit of a gap up situation. So apparently they reported well. Um, let's keep an eye on that and be cognizant of the major resistance level that we're showing in the price resistance on that chart. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And I did add some alerts yesterday um, to potential charts. And there are some things out there that I think are looking pretty good. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a quick favor, I know I ask this in every video, but if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon. I truly appreciate it. it helps us continue to grow this channel um, and attract more folks. And if you find this video to be worthy, if there's anything in here that helped you in preparing for your day, please click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. We get a lot of feet, folks watching, but not a lot of folks follow through and um, provide that 
thumbs up and, and leave a comment. So if you can do that, that helps out the channel a lot. And please feel free to share this video on any of your social platforms. Now, remember guys, every time I post a video, um, or excuse me, post a stock in a video, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. I, I really want you to understand it's important that you have your own plan, that you follow your own rules in your trading. Um, blindly following someone else's trades is not a good idea. So be very, very careful with that. Make sure you've done your own due diligence and evaluation of these stocks. But a few that I want to point out, I still really like um, this potential setup in Boot. Notice that Boot has been sliding over here toward its trend. We had a little volatility in this. You can see by pushing over here. Yesterday we pushed up into this level um, trying to break through. It, there may be a possibility that this could still dance around in here consolidating over to the trend, but I think we want to watch that and every day that it slides over toward that trend, I think this pattern gets better and better. And it's a pattern that I trade all the time. Um, I want that price, that reaction to price support and that reaction to trend. And when we do, we get really good price moves out of stocks, as you can kind of see right here. Really good price moves out of stocks as they bounce off of those trends and support levels. So watch that close. Boot looking very, very good. Take a look at AT&T. Now, um, I've been watching this, and you probably saw this in yesterday's video. Um, I placed an alert here on AT&T, and um, we started to break through. Now, AT&T is one of those stocks that's trying to break, um, recover, um, breaking this downtrend. And one of the things I like about this is I do some trading in long term where I want to hold for a period of time, not just a quick swing trade. And I got to tell you, with this big dividend yield here on AT&T, this pattern where we're breaking that downtrend, pushing up here, holding support levels, holding into trend, starting to look pretty darn attractive and um, maybe a great position. Even if I look at this on a longer term chart, a weekly chart, this is a pretty darn positive pattern showing that recovery may be underway here in AT&T. So if you're looking for a good dividend payer, that might be something uh, to take a look at. Take a uh, quick look at KHC. KHC is another stock coming up out of a bottom. And as you can see, building in this upside trend, breaking through a pretty significant level of price resistance and holding that trend in here. You can see it popped my alert a couple of days ago. Now I would, won't be surprised if this needs a little bit more time and rest coming back over here to trend. It's possible that we are just steepening this trend here um, though. And even though I have a trend line here, we may actually be respecting this trend line. So watch that carefully. KHC looking pretty good, might be a pretty decent trade. IBM is another one now. It's been years and years and years since I had any concern for IBM at all. But as you can see, IBM breaking this downtrend rallying up here, holding onto that downtrend as support and consolidating this nice consolidating move. What that's telling me is really nobody wants to sell this and it is starting to attract some of those buyers. So as we shift over here toward this trend, let's watch for that opportunity for this to push on up and maybe test this next big level of resistance in the chart. Now it's going to be critical that this breaks on through. If that can break on through here and hold, then um, there's some big upside potential that may come in IBM. So keep an eye on that chart. Um, even if you don't, if you're not interested in it here, later on it may be worthy to be paying attention to that. Um, <clears throat> as you guys know. I've mentioned Crocs um, every day here recently. This was a beautiful little consolidating breakout. As you can see, popping that alert, we had one day of rest here, and then we're pushing on through, breaking through to new highs. Crocs, very, very strong here. Beautiful chart. Now, I wouldn't wanna chase it um, at this point. I would probably, at this point, wait for that next little rest in here and uh, opportunity to get in that trade, but it looks really, really strong, really good. Um, keep an eye on that chart. I'm gonna continue to mention stocks like FDX. I think uh, the shippers um, with the historic shopping, uh, consumer shopping that's gone on this season, these guys are gonna continue to produce really, really well, assuming they can kind of keep up with the capacity. Um, I've even heard um, tales and reports that um, 
we have stocks um, now that are trying to, um, or comp- uh, these companies are, are renting out um, all kinds of rental trucks uh, just in an attempt to get um, um, all these packages delivered. So watch that closely. I think FedEx has some uh, good times ahead of it here, as well as UPS. Take a look at that UPS chart, looking really strong. Um, had just a little bit of a sideways move here, but bullish, all kinds of bullish holding into this trend, holding above some levels of price support in that chart. So watch for that next opportunity for this to maybe kick on higher um, and move on up. Watch that close. Let's take a look at um, some of those energy sector stocks. I picked up a position in um, Exxon Mobil and uh, not a recommendation to, to buy this in any way, shape or form, but I really like this big dividend that this company um, um, has. And you can see we're breaking these downtrends. If we are on the road to recovery in this country, we're, we're likely to see these oil prices surge back up. Um, as we continue, as we start traveling again, as we start getting back on the on the roads, as manufacturing kicks back up with um, healthy people on their lines, um, we can see those oil sector stocks, energy sector stocks moving up. So keep an eye on that. Exxon Mobil looking good, and you know it's not just here. You can um, look at just about anything in that oil sector. It's moving up. SLB, um, BP, um, Halliburton. Um, Devon Energy, um, everything in that energy sector is moving up strongly. You can even look to refining Valero Energy, beautiful potential pattern in here, uh, breaking through resistance, pushing on up. I think any rest or pullback sets up an opportunity to enter uh, Valero Energy. Um, uh, besides that, let's take a look at the financials. Um, I'm going to go to like XLF here right now. Financials looking very, very good, pushing up and trying to break through some pretty significant levels of price resistance here in the chart. Now, I will say these are a little bit short term extended. Um, they may need, they may need uh, just a little rest. Uh, before they continue on up, meaning that they may have to consolidate a while, but still looking very good. And if you take a look at stocks like Citibank, BAC, um, oops, um, Goldman Sachs, um, Alley Financial, um, Morgan Stanley, um, everywhere you look, these stocks are moving up and moving up sharply. Again, some of them are somewhat extended and may need a little bit of rest, but if the market is coming back, if we are going to recover from this uh, COVID situation here in the next several months, then these financials should do quite well. So keep an eye on those, could be some awesome opportunities there. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day in your trading. Um, you know, Friday is always one of those happy days where we get to have a day off uh, coming up. And um, be careful out there with all this COVID stuff going on. Be safe. We'll see you back here bright and early Monday morning. Have a great day. Wish you awesome, awesome success in the morning.